Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James. Catherine! She's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. Do one. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. Don't look straight into the light, pal. James and it's really nice for decorations. Hey, just something you could use to this place will feel just like. Come her. on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! 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 Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a Pip-Boy. I wish I was ten. 
Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, Wally! Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Gross. I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> I think Paul's gone soft on us. Happy birthday, yeah, Sonny. Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork Attention, face. Attention, everyone. <laughs> it's time. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. I'm too tough to cake. Andy, wait. Nice party. How do you like that pip boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Um. No! I am mortified nice about the cake in this hat. Simply mortified! Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. And I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Hey, happy birthday, Nosebleed. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. You what? Dang, I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. Just stay out of my way, you got it? Come on, nice Wally. Pitbull. You always have what good is that? ideas. What is that? Yeah. What'd Butch want? I thought you were in trouble there for a second. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well. You can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> How's it going, Bill? One. The Mackers. Super cool, right? Jeez, Wally. Who's the head of the gang? You or me? No way! Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you were busy with the water purifier. Everything's fine, I hope. Oh, sure. Nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. Hey, Doc. What do you guys think? We're all set down here. You and your snakes and rats and wizards. Send them right down. I'm glad you could make them join yourself. Shut up and let me think a minute. Why are you still hanging?
Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. So, what do you think we should call our game? A nice it's got the total Happy birthday, birthy. Sonny. Party, Mrs. Hey, how about the vault I help with the decorations, you know. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Who wants to go around all day being called oh, a freak? really? They're Some people think you really are as you dumb did as you such look. a splendid job. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-Boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Your dad is waiting to give you your present. Or should we just keep it? Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Go on, shoot something for me. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with the big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. Right? Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any kind of special treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. And the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So. Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? 
That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside... That's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life, about love. But most of all... Most of all she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now. So this year, you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can... Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? A bunch of idiots if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. 
Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. I was just going over Tell her! Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. What? You mouthing off, Spaz? Everyone knows the tunnel snakes. We rule this vault, and we don't take shit from nobody. Not you, not her, and not her daddy, the overseer. Stay out of this. It's tunnel snake business. Me and Butch were just having some fun with this chick. I don't follow anyone. Wally Mac is his own man, and the tunnel snakes is where I belong. W why? You think Butch is in charge? Is that what people are saying? Because it's a load of shit if that's what they're saying. What? What kind of shit is that? No one talks that way about Wally Mac. He's not the boss of me. Nobody's the boss of me. I'm out of here. Butch, we're done here. Tunnel snakes rule. That's us. And we rule. No one messes with the tunnel snakes. Or they have to answer to Butch and Wally. You don't want to be on their bad sides. Trust me. Can't think of anything. Butch says this little bitch is blabbing to her daddy about us tunnel snakes. We can't have that. Because we're the tunnel snakes and we rule. None of your business. Because Butch said so. And what Butch says goes. Tunnel snakes rule! The overseer's authority is absolute. Because he's my pal. My brother. All us tunnel snakes are brothers. Birth to earth, womb to tomb. Mostly because tunnel snakes rule. Much later, tunnel snakes rule. Done. We're not done. I say when we're done. This Don't know who put overcome. you in charge. I say we're done. Let's go, Paul. Are you sure? Butch? Um, okay. Whatever you say, Wally. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. I was done here anyway. This ain't over, Daddy's girl. I'm not finished with you either, twerp. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep Thank you waiting. Thank God that's what over. Seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that This isn't over, punk. Even with the pills you gave Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Me last week. It's the lights. I think they hurt my eyes. That's still Bob. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. Good for you. Don't worry, you'll do fine. As soon as everyone's found a seat, we'll get started. Let's not keep the overseer waiting. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do?
question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh, no. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Oh, oh, hi. Uh why are you talking to me? Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, I hope you weren't why just are talking, you talking to, me? to me. Right now, Here you I are, don't Mr. pay Rush. any attention to I you. I hope I did okay. You really hey, want to keep it that way. What did you put okay? for number don't worry 10? About Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. I've got other things to do. I'm all done, Mr. Brotch. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Snake life forever. You again. What did I tell you Mother about talking to me, huh? Leave me alone, you I don't want to spell. catch a case of the Home nerd for you. Science. Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? That's impossible. I'm t Bye. Hey there. I hope you weren't just talking to me. Huh. I wonder who will be brave enough to be your first customer as the vault's new tattoo artist. I promise it won't be me. Ha! Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. 
If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Oh, look, it's Doc's kid. I'll see you tomorrow, Great. Bright nerd. What do you want, nerd boy? That is Doc Ross. He is safe now. Is he being against the world? Selfish and insolent. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My God, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. We don't have time for this! Trust me, security doesn't know about the tunnel. Just my father and me. Maybe this pistol I stole from my father will make you feel better. Go ahead, take it, and then let's get out of here. I hope you're joking. Even with that pistol, I don't think you'll win a fight against the whole security force. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there! Crimity, more roaches! Get it off me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. Butchie, help me!
Everyone's gonna be okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. You're the best, man. The best. God, everything's really gonna be okay now, right now, thanks to you. The rat roach infestation is under control. Do not interfere with vault security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That is all. They keep coming from filthy little monsters. That's enough, that. Ah, yep. oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Don't think I don't know it. Why do you think I'm letting you go? I guess you're trying to follow your dad. Outside. Good gravy. If I didn't know what the Overseer would do if he caught you, I'd never tell you to try for it, but it's your only shot. And you take care, and I hope you find your daddy. Sir, now very good to see you. You're the one everybody's looking for. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there, ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. There's nasty roaches have gotten my sockets in such a frazzle. Oh, come on, pay more attention to what you're doing. Just hold still, your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. I am holding still. It's your old pulsy hands that are shaking. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. My animal jaw used to have the lightest touch. <sighs> it's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop. Any oh! Stop!
going to be shit. He had to mess things up for everyone.
hold right there. Stop! Please don't have him hit me again! Don't you care that I'm your own daughter? Amara, darling, why must you be so stupid? The last thing I want is to see you hurt. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amato will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amato, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Let's let history be the judge of that. If you had paid attention to Mr. Broch, you'd understand that history is invariably written by the victor. And I intend to be the victor! You won't survive the night! Guards, help me! Guards, help! My father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. You did it! 
You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. There he is! Got to get out of here. Someone's sure to come see what's going on. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. Take care. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs> 